morning. Uh, thanks for coming. Uh, so, um, I'm Simon Redfern. I'm a CEO of Desobi and founder of the Open Bank Project. <coughs> uh, so, I'm going to talk about uh, yeah, this Open Bank Project. Um, I don't like it when it does that. Um, <coughs> bank as a platform. Okay, so, some, uh, some uh, brain teasers at the moment. Can you work out, well, A, where that is, probably a bit difficult, but what the number means. Uh, and you've got another clue here. Where is it and what does the number mean? Where is it and what does the number mean? Slightly, you might have a better clue now. I don't know what it means. Where's that? It's West Africa, somewhere. The number. It's been going up to down. So uh, you've got, uh, that's New Zealand, that's uh, Berlin, uh, Athens, Cameroon, Douala, and uh, this, this is the, pre the uh, presidential palace of the, uh, yeah, the ex-president of Ukraine, uh, who was living in summer style. So uh, these numbers, um, these are the Transparency International uh, uh, Anti-Corruption Index, basically. And uh, the higher the number, the cleaner the country. So New, Le New Zealand's got a good record. I'm sure Sweden's pretty, up, pretty much up there, too. And uh, yeah, down at the bottom, you've got uh, places like Cameroon and Ukraine and so on. And actually, uh, this is why I started thinking about the Open Bank Project, because I was hearing about corruption and fraud, and I just thought about... Yeah, I thought about a new type of bank account where all the bank accounts would be open for everyone to see, which is a, you know, kind of, uh, I suppose, crazy idea uh, to start. Yes, you can. Oh, does that make it better? That's worse, I think. Okay, okay, lucky I charged it earlier, right? Uh, yeah, so I was thinking about this uh, corruption and fraud, and what about a new type of bank account where all the banks, the, the accounts would be open for everyone to see? Because this, this problem of corruption leading to greater uh, distrust and uh, apathy and so on, it's like a vicious circle, which is, uh, yeah, really bad for society and democracy and so on and so forth. And so the idea is to create a bit more transparency, leading to more empowerment, better education, and so on and so forth. And um, <clears throat> there are a couple of very good books on this topic, Why Nations Fail and um, Treasure Island. So, so that's, that's one kind of starting point for the Open Bank Project. Um, okay, here's another quiz then. So what's, what, what, what's, the, what's similar between these two, two things up on, up on the screen there? Any guesses? Well, they're, they're both platforms, right? And uh, I was reminded of the violin thing. Yesterday I went to this R4 bar, this Viking thing, where a bunch of us went uh, to drink, drink and eat. And then it, next to the bar there was a whole bunch of musicians, uh, folk musicians, playing some good stuff. Uh, every Tuesday they play. And, um, you know, it's, it's, a, it's an interface, isn't it, the violin? It's got some standardized and all the rest of it. And not, people aren't so much interested in the... Um, in the, uh, the violin as an object themselves, but they're definitely interested in the music that comes out of it. It's the same with the iPhone or Windows, the operating system or whatever, you know. So, you know, platforms lead to great, great things, you know. Here's, a, here's an interesting uh, um, example of uh, unexpected platform use, okay. So, Instagram being used to sell sheep, all right. Now, this, <laughs> this came from, guess where this came from? Bahrain. Okay, I'm going to make a little joke here. Bahrain, right? <laughs> but who would have thought when the Instagram guys, you know, when they put this, this thing together that it would be used to sell sheep? So there you go. It is. Another uh, kind of starting point and a reason I started thinking about the Open Bank Project. Um, so I'm, no, I'm definitely not a millennial, right? I'm you know, 64, I was born. But um, you know, I, I didn't like my online banking interface and I'm sure m m many people are st probably still dissatisfied with their online interfaces. And, 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 and you know, the younger generations, whatever, they'd rather go to the, the, the dentist to listen to what their, their banks are saying. So our vision is really that you know, much like Google, Amazon, Facebook, Twitter, and all the rest of it, they've made massive, 
uses of APIs and become a platform, we think banks can become a platform as well. And this, this idea of uh, yeah, open banking, really, for us it has like four, uh, four, um, uh, four O's in it. So open standards, uh, open source, um, uh, open data options uh, for this uh, tr increased transparency type thing, and, and that lot enables uh, open innovation. And uh, so, so this slide is interesting because, you know, in like 1995, people are saying, why do we need a website? And then 2000, of course, we've got a website. Then 2010, why do we need an API? And, uh, you know, pretty soon it's going to be, of course, we've got an API. And Gartner agrees, even uh, in, in terms of, of banking. In fact, they, they've re <coughs> they talked about us <coughs> in a couple of hype cycle reports on open, open banking. And uh, yeah, when I, when I first started talking about this topic in like February 2010, uh, publicly, that you know, people were like, huh, what, what do you mean? You know, both in terms of uh, the, the API and, and the transparency stuff. But you know, APIs are obviously great for abstracting away these aging uh, systems, which are, are yeah, barriers to, 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 to innovation. <clears throat> and you know, banks should be thinking about APIs and so on. Because, you know, if the, if the guys in the middle, the fintech startups who are kind of trying to challenge, if they are too small, right, then you can be sure that the guys on the right are not too small enough to challenge, challenge the banks in these, these areas, you know. Um, you know, both because they've got the, uh, they've got the kind of uh, the, the infrastructure and they, they just totally understand uh, APIs and so on, but also... Uh, customers are more excited to use something new from um, from from these guys on the right than they are from their own uh, from their from their own banks. And you know, obviously, Bitcoin is very cool, and uh, PayPal is 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 obviously doing lots of good stuff with APIs. So that's another reason why banks should think about it. <clears throat> and also, there's regulation coming up. So in Poland, for instance, uh, they uh, they have told the banks that they are not allowed to let uh, um, anyone screen scrape their um, their, their bank accounts, uh, so that's so there you need uh, uh, APIs instead, of course, and APIs are just better for many reasons anyway. Uh, in the EU has this does have has this uh, pay, PSD2, this Payment Services Directive 2, which is basically saying, yeah, banks need to. Uh, need to open up um, their payment systems. And the UK, so we're talking to UK Treasury and so on, and they are uh, definitely wanting the, the banks to become more open uh, to, to foster greater innovation and, and choice for their customers. So, you know, banks, we think banks need to open up their infrastructures and they, they should be developing an ecosystem so they can better respond to their, their customers and, you know, and also com compete better in the market. And so that's what we do. We, we, we provide a standard API uh, for banks. Um, we have a big developer community, and uh, we have a, 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 an app store that's probably the least developed of our stuff so far, but it's basically the icing on the cake so you can, so that uh, yeah, c uh, customers can, um, can browse the apps which are, are, are supported at the bank. So you can imagine you know, appstore.mybank.com, uh, and uh, there you can go and uh, choose the apps that, you, that the bank has allowed to, to, to work um, uh, with, your, with your bank accounts. You know, and this, and this way, you know, banks can bring innovation to, to them uh, much, much faster, cheaper, and so on and so forth. Developers get access to what they want, and customers get more choice. Um, and it's all secure because it's running at the bank's data center. Uh, and you know, using OAuth and so on and so forth. So a couple of um, app examples. So Momentum on the left here, this is from Poland. So uh, it's um, a business analytics uh, tool. Um, and uh, the, the app on the right, uh, Kinderbank, that was actually developed at one of our hackathons in, in, um, in London. It was developed by some developers from uh, Allied Irish Bank. And uh, actually, it demonstrates some of the features of the API. So as well as getting uh, transaction data and so on from, from the bank via the, via the core banking system, we have a couple of subsystems, uh, one of which is metadata subsystems. So you can, via the API, you can 
add uh, tags, comments, geotags, URLs, that kind of stuff, um, so that you know. Hence, these pictures can be can be added um, to um, categories and um, counterparties and transactions, and that doesn't have to be stored in the in the bank's uh, backend uh, system. So they don't have to modify their systems; they can just use our stack to do that, and it links to their um, uh, transactions and so on. Uh, another app, so we, we, we did this, this is a social finance app and it uh, basically uh, uses all the features of the API pretty much so far and you can see these images uh, are, are linked to the transactions and um, there are different views, views on, on, um, on the bank account, so like a charity could share with its donors. Uh, a company could share with its uh, shareholders or its um, auditors or accountants and so on and so forth. So this basically having fine grade, allowing uh, account holders to decide in a fine-grained way who has access to uh, what data at a field level, you know, basically binary on-off for each field. And uh, this is all controllable via the API, so you can write the apps um, to both to consume this data and to uh, man manage the, these, this entitlement system. Um, and uh, another app, um, again using the OAuth flow, just a simple little app really showing uh, the balance of all your accounts next to your clock in your, uh, on your Apple um, um, menu bar. And uh, another one here, Banking Banquet, for the gothic teenagers amongst us who want to have some blood and guts and roses, you know, uh, yeah, whatever. Um, <clears throat> and then, yeah, some other apps. So we did the Singing Bank. That was one of, that was done that was done at a hackathon actually in Helsinki uh, a couple of years ago. Uh, maybe I'll play it at the end. Money Journey was done at a hackathon in Brazil. Kind of shows that it's using geotags. Uh, uh, um, associated with transactions showing money flow around the world. Um, money Garden is a PFM from Switzerland. They just moved to Germany, actually. Spend chart uh, from Norway. Um, so, yeah, we, we've got a couple of P PO proof of concepts in, in place. Uh, we are connected to Temenos, which is a core banking uh, vendor. We're also talking to um, yeah other core banking vendors that I, I won't mention because we're on camera. And, uh, but, uh, yeah, Temenos and IBM are sponsoring our hackathon uh, on Friday, Saturday in London. And, uh, yeah, and we're developing a network of service partners who, yeah, bas basically will take, this, take the software and install it at banks, um, one of which is, is, is lending us uh, connect to a couple of uh, banks in Nigeria. Uh, we've got a good developer community. We, these hackathons come under the banner hack stroke make the bank. Some people were slightly nervous about the, the phrase hack the bank. So we put in the word make as well. And uh, yeah, they're pretty, pretty, pretty successful, good, good, good fun events. So how does it work? Well, you basically know how it works, but... Um, the the core the, yeah the interesting thing is that they install this uh, system behind their their firewalls and um, so it runs in the in, in the bank's data center of course it could run in the cloud as well but the the bank can basically manage it they can fork the code uh, it's we dual license it under the AGPL and commercial licenses so uh, yeah anyone can fork the code and either put the changes back into the community or pay us some money. <laughs> Yeah, which helps the rest of the project, of course. Uh, a bit more of the technical architecture. Um, so it's it's the stack is written in Scala, uh, which is uh, yeah runs in the J, uh, JVM. And uh, can I walk? Yes, I can. So this is this is the core banking system here, uh, interface to it. So basically, if we want to if we want to connect to a new uh, core banking system or something like that. We rewrite this bit of the, uh, the, the layer here. Uh, this is our kind of uh, metadata system, our entitlement system. This can be stored like in our MongoDB or Postgres databases, or it can go to the bank's uh, Oracle DB2 or whatever uh, system. And yeah, we, we provide an OAuth server, uh, but it can be swapped out with a commercial uh, OAuth server as well, and there's even room for you know uh, general-purpose API management tools up here. 
So, you know, we, we don't pretend to do everything that um, Apogee, Three Scale, or uh, Axway, or IBM, or Microsoft uh, API management stuff do. We do a, we do a bunch of that, but uh, if if an organisation wants, you know, more fancy graphs and stuff, then then they can, um, or, or or different levels of security, then they can they can use that too. So we're a, like a, a semantic API vertical uh, for, for the banking space, so developers can write an app for one bank and basically bring it to another bank uh, and know that it's going to work uh, because they've got this, the, the same uh, JSON coming back, they've got the same um, uh, capabilities, and uh, yeah, our test suite ensures that, 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 that it works. And 15 minutes, not bad. Uh, so, oh. What? You've got my children again, playing violin. That's cool, huh? I'll play you a bit of Singing Bank, huh? As, as uh, it's morning time. And, uh, and if there's any questions, uh, please, please let me know. Um, So this is um, the high notes of money coming into our bank account and the low notes of money going out of our bank account. And yeah, and I guess it, it just it just demonstrates a couple of things. Oh, you can't see it on the screen, shit. 